Hey, welcome back to Cornwall. Huge thanks to Thermopen for sponsoring today's video. And if you stick around to the end, I'll let you know how you could be in with a chance of winning your very own Barbecue Brave box of goodies. Okay, let's cook. Okay, before we get the fire going, I'm just gonna prep my mackerel. Now I got my mackerel from a local fisherman, so they're still intact and they do need gutting. Please feel free to skip forward to the time on the screen if you'd rather not watch that bit. Turn the fish over and locate the vent or the small hole towards the back of the fish. Slide the tip of a sharp knife into the hole and carefully slice forward, opening up the belly. Hook your finger inside and pull out the entrails and then rinse your mackerel under cold running water to clean. So it's really simple to gut a fish, but if you're buying yours from a fishmonger or a supermarket, you can skip this step as it'll already be done for you. When your campfire or barbecue is up and running, you can start prepping your meal. I'm gonna slice up some lemons and limes, and I use two of each for three good sized mackerel. And now it's time to start on those sweet potatoes. So layer up a double sheet of foil, and then either slice the skin of each potato with a sharp knife, or you can prick with a fork several times. And this is just gonna prevent your potatoes from exploding in the fire due to a buildup of steam within the skin. Roll each potato up in the foil and then we want to bury them into the embers of the fire. I totally had the wrong tool for this job. The handles were way too short on these tongs which made this very hot work indeed. Make a dent in your coals and try and get some over the top of the potatoes too. And a medium sized potato takes about 45 minutes give or take just to increase that time if yours are much larger. Halfway through the cooking time, you can turn them over and rebury them into the embers. Okay, now onto those fish. Cut five or six slits in the sides of each mackerel, almost down to the bone. This will help the heat get into the center of the fish, which is gonna help it cook quickly and evenly. Then drizzle with some oil. I'm using olive oil and just rub that into the skin. Now I've cooked mackerel many times without coating in oil first and it's fine, they still cook, but what happens is this, as the skin cooks, it sticks to the wire of the grill basket so that when you open the basket back up when the fish is cooked, you've got somewhat unappetizing looking mess because the skin sticks to the wire and it all just pulls apart and it just doesn't look very nice. It's still gonna taste great, but you won't be as proud serving it up to your friends. So oil it first and it won't stick. Now I don't remember where I got this grill basket, but I'll try and find one similar and link to it below. It's really handy for cooking all sorts of food over a fire and it doesn't take up much space in your camp kitchen. So stuff each fish with some slices of citrus, then close the basket, which thereby locks everything inside securely.
When you've got some good embers, spread them out so you've got a log at either side to support the fish basket and some nice white coals underneath. Then place the wire basket on the coals and season the top with sea salt and repeat on the other side when you turn them over. You want to let them cook for around three to four minutes each side. And I'm sure I'm not alone, but I've served up undercooked fish in the past. The only way to know if a fish is cooked properly other than cutting it open and taking a look inside is to take a temperature reading from the centre of the meat. Fish needs to be at or above 60 degrees C or 140 F. Now you've seen me use my Thermapen in many a video before, but today I'm sporting a new bright orange one. So you just poke the tip of the probe into the thickest part of the fish, stopping just before you hit bone and you take the reading there. When the fish is cooked, grab your sweet potatoes from the fire and a simple green salad on the side and serve. The mackerel is so flaky and moist it is such an underrated fish. It's cheap, it's full of healthy fats and great flavour, and it's one of the most sustainable fish available here in England currently. It's got to be up there as one of my absolute favourites, and sassies too, obviously. <laughs> oh, and cooking it outside in this way means that your kitchen won't smell a fish for the next two days either, which is always a bonus. Yum. <laughs> Huge thanks to Thermopen for inspiring today's little feast in the garden. And Thermopen are a British made digital thermometer that take the guesswork out of cooking. They're quick, accurate and very easy to use and clean up is a doggle. Now, if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a Barbecue Brave box of goodies, which includes your very own Thermopen professional, plus a £50 voucher to spend at the Ethical Butcher and a rub and sauce set from Angus and Oink, along with some other bits and bobs too, that will like up your barbecue game to ninja level, then please follow the link down below to my blog where you'll find the competition. And apologies, this one is only open to mainland UK peeps. Um, so sorry to all my internationals. Um, but if you do enter, then hey, good luck. Right, I'm out of here for today, lovelies. Please, as always, stay safe and keep smiling and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Over and out.